Well, we are well past the peak of hurricane season now ending towards the end of October into the beginning of November, just around the corner. And usually for November, hurricane season is not super active. Given the graph, we do not see too much activity, some in the beginning of November. And then, of course, hurricane season ends December 1st. Now, we usually see tropical entities form in the Caribbean, Western Atlantic or the Central Atlantic in November. And the good news is, too, most of the past that those tropical entities take is to the north and northeast, which takes them away from the continental U.S. Now, there are some reasons for these areas, and most of it is just what we call a wall of wind shear. So this big red area does break apart any tropical entities. They will struggle forming with wind shear. Wind shear is not a friend to tropical entities, but low wind shear is a friend to tropical entities, and we see some low wind shear in the Caribbean, which is why that is a hot spot, as well as the western Atlantic and the central Atlantic. The other good news for the continental U.S. We have frontal systems sweeping across the continental U.S. keeping tropical systems away or sweeping them away. But we have seen a few landfalling systems in November for the continental U.S. Most of those being in Florida, but the Carolinas have seen one that was back in 1861 with the expedition hurricane. That was a category one storm that made landfall in Cape Lookout that long ago. Usually Florida is the one to see tropical systems systems in November, the last being Nicole in 2022. Now hurricane season does run through November 30th and the weather authority team will keep you posted through then.